Kia ora, I'm Marina. And I'm Dave. We're from the University of Otago Chemistry Outreach Team. And today we're going to make pyrophoric iron using iron oxalate. So what we've just seen there is the action of heat on iron oxalate. When you heat it up at the beginning, it decomposes, produces carbon dioxide, and then the carbon dioxide keeps all the particles of the iron and the iron oxalate apart, and it looks like it's boiling. And then the iron is very, very reactive, but because we've got this blanket of carbon dioxide around, the iron particles, they don't react with the air. Eventually, you pour the tube out and all the iron hits the air and reacts very quickly with the air. And you see all those lovely red sparks falling out and going down into the trunk. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want to keep up with what we're doing on the channel, follow us on Facebook or Twitter. See you next time. Kaki te